Hi friends, welcome to another video on GT coding. In this video, we are going to learn about operators. In the last video on operators, I had talked about the common, the commonly used operators in JavaScript. Now in this video, we are going to talk about the rest of the operators. So let's get started. So the first operator that we are going to look at is called conditional operators. So a conditional operator is used to perform some task when a particular condition is true or false. So let me just give you the syntax of conditional operator. So first of all we will have the condition and after that we will give a question mark and then here we will type the code which should be executed if the condition is true and then we will give a colon and if the condition is false this this part of code will be executed so let's see an example suppose we have a condition where 23 is greater than 34 so if it is true then we will type this is true or this is false so now we can see that 23 is greater than 34 is a false statement because 23 is lesser than 34. So we should get this part of code executed. So when we see the result, we can see that this is false is printed on the screen. So if you just change the sign over here and type the same thing we can see that this code will be executed so you can see this is true is printed on the screen so this is basically how the conditional operators are used first of all write the condition and then type a question mark then the code which should be executed if the condition is true then we have a colon and after that the code that should be executed if the condition is false so the next operator is called the in operator so using the in operator we can check whether we have something in our array or our object so first of all i will talk about the array we will create an array so var colors is red green blue So we have our array, if you type colors, we can see that in our array we have red, green and blue. Now using the in operator, we can check whether a particular index exists in our array. For example, if we type 1 in colors, we can see that it results true because the index 1 is present in our array. This is the 0 index, this is the first index and this is the second index now if we type 3 in colors we can see that we get false because there are only three index in our array which starts from 0 through 2 so that is how the in operator is used in our array we cannot type for example red in colors because that will give us a false result because in array we can only check whether a particular index exists in our array now we will talk about objects now we will just create an object called channel and in that we will type name gt coding and subs so we have our object called channel we can see there are two properties name and subs so when we talk about objects we can directly check whether we have a property in our object using the in operator so we can type name in channel we get the result as true because name property is available in our channel object we can also check the other property 
subs in channel true if we type some other value we can see we get a false result so there are many predefined objects in javascript for example math which contains so many properties and string is an object so we will also check whether we have some properties in these objects so in math we have a property called pi which gives us the value of pi so we will check it using our in operator so we'll just type pi in math we can see we get the result as true because pi is available in the math object in the same way there are other objects as well we'll also check length which is a property in the string object we can see we get the result as true so this is why an in operator is used in javascript using in operator we can check whether we have a particular index in our array or we have a property in our object so the other operator that i'm going to talk to you about is called the type of operator type of operator is used to check what type of variable we have for example we have a variable one call which is a number then we have another variable which is a string now if we type in type of and type in the name of our variable we can see number is displayed on the screen because var1 is of number data type now if we check the type of the other variable var2 we get it as string because it contains string data type so i have talked about type of operator in the previous videos so this is basically what the type of operator does in javascript so the next operator that we are going to talk about is called the instance of operator so the instance of operator is used to check whether the current object is of a specified object type so i will give you an example for example if we have a class called language and now we will create an object of this class called javascript so javascript is equal to new language now if we check whether javascript is of language type we can type in javascript instance of language we can see that it re returns true we will learn about this in the coming videos where i will i will talk to you about creating objects and object oriented programming in javascript we will look at one more example we will create a variable called new string and we will create it as a string object so this is not a regular string if we check this so this is an object that we have created so if we check whether this is an instance of string new string instance of string we can see that it results true now if we create a regular string for example regular string and then if we check whether it is an instance of string we can see it results false so this is why an instance of operator is used in javascript you will understand more about this when we learn about classes and objects in javascript so the next operator is called the delete operator delete operator is used to delete a specific property from an object for example we have uh, an object called person and we will give it a property 
called age now if we want to check whether we really have age property in our person object we can use the in operator so we will just type age in person we can see it results to true now if you want to delete the age property we can just type in delete person dot age now if we check in person whether we have age property we can see we get the result as false so the delete operator is used to remove a particular property from an object the next type of operators is called bitwise operators so bitwise operators can be used to work with bits in javascript these are all the bitwise operators in javascript you have to know a little bit about binary number system to work with bitwise operators so this is just a basic idea of what a bitwise operator does in a separate video we will learn about bitwise operators in detail so that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates so thanks a lot for watching have a nice day